Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play Skyfall by Adele. And it's going to start on an A sus2, and this is kind of the big brass push at the very, very beginning. And the way you play an A sus2 is we're, we're going to take the, the second finger and put them on the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that's called an A suspended second or an A sus2. And it actually sounds really, really open. So that's what I like to kind of use to simulate the brass intro at the very, very beginning. And then from there we go into to, to the rest of our intro. And, and for that we're going to be starting on an A minor chord. And all you really have to do from the A sus2 is take the first finger and put them on the B string on the first fret. And so you've got B string first, second finger on the D on the second, third finger on the G on the second. And if you strum all those together, it makes an A minor chord and sounds really, really sad. And then from A minor, we're beginning, going to be going to an F major chord. And there's a good substitute we'll talk about in a minute, but if you know the bar F major, you take your first finger and do them across the entire first fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, third finger on the A on the third fret, and the pinky goes underneath on the D on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes an F major and it sounds really, really happy. But a good substitute for that chord is something I call F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, same place he is for A minor. Second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the D on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings with that, that makes an F major 7. It still sounds really, really happy. And then from F major, um, we're going to be going to a D minor chord. And the way you play a D minor chord is first finger is going to go to the high E on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, third finger on the B on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings with that, just D, G, B, and E, that'll give you your clearest sound with that, and that's called D minor. Sounds really, really sad. And then from D minor, we're going to, we're going to be going back to the A minor again. And then we do an F major. But then we're going to be going to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the third, or on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings with that, just D, G, B, and E, just like the D minor, that makes sounds really, really happy. And that's called D major. So that's kind of weird because you get the same setup, but, but the first time it's A minor and then F major. And then we're sad on D minor. But then we get the A minor and then the F major. But then we go to D major and we get this real happy sound. And then from there, we're going to be going to A minor again. F major again, and then D major again, so we're still happy. But then from there, we're going to be going to something called an E sus, or an E suspended, or actually an E7 suspended. And the way you play E7 suspended, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E suspended chord, or an E7 suspended. And then from there, we're going to be going to an E7 chord. And the way you play an E7 or E dominant 7 is we're going to take the first finger and put them on the G string on the first fret. And the second finger is going to still be on the A on the second fret. So if you strum all those together, that makes an E7 or E dominant 7 chord. And that sounds really, really unresolved. So you kind of have an E suspended, which sounds unresolved. And an E7 that kind of has a little nastiness at the end of the phrase. And that's going to come back through our, our, our verse and our chorus. But just a lot of times with a song like this, though, one thing to make it more interesting is I like adding a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we took the A minor that we're going to be starting the verses on and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So you want to do a lot, that, that a lot just to kind of get used to it. But then from the very, very beginning, what we're going to end up doing is, is to add that to the, our intro progression is we're going to be halving the A minor and the Fs through that part. So if we, if we take the A minor, for instance, and just do the down, down, up, and then go to the F for the up, down, up. I think that works really well to kind of work that. So you've got A minor, down, down, up, F, up. A minor, oh, and you might want to try that a lot. A minor, down, down, up, F, up, down, up. Or if you're doing your bar F, then A minor, down, up, F, up, down, up. A minor, down, down, up, F, up, down, up. But then from
from there, we'll be going to the D minor or the D major and doing our, our whole strum pattern. And so for our intro part, dude, just to try that whole part, you'd have A minor down, down, up, F. So that's one thing you want to definitely practice through the song. But later on, that verse progression becomes A minor to the F, and then the D major and the D minor get half the same way as the A minor F in the intro. So through our verses, we're going to be having the D and the D minor the same way that we were just having the A minor and F. So you want to try that, yeah, you could just take the D and just try that down, down, up, and then try and switch to the D minor. And you may want to try and leave the third finger down through that because he's in the same place um, for both chords. So you got D with down, down, up, D minor, up, down, up, D minor, down, down, up, D minor, up, down. Which is almost like <laughs> the spoke sock through show where you got the So just to try that through our verses, you, you've got A minor, down, F on the up, up, down, D minor, down, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, F, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, A minor, down, down, F, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, and you go to A minor for the whole strum pattern, A minor. same chords. We got the A minor, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, D major, down, down, up, down, up, but then we have the E7 and the E, or the E7 sus and the E7 the same way we've been doing with the A minor and the F and the D and the D minor. Or we go the E sus with the down, down, E7 on the up, up, down, up, and then we kind of repeat that. We got A minor, down, up, minor part at the end of that. Um, those are basically all the chords that, that we need until we get to the bridge. And on the bridge we start with D minor and then we go to F major. But then we go to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go A on the second fret, second finger is going to go low E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then we're going to be going to an A minor. And then we got D minor, and then F major, but then we got the E7 sus, and then we got the E7 at the very end of our bridge. And we'll be doing our whole strum pattern on each of those, so just to try that through our bridge, we got D minor, down, up, up, down, F, down, 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 up, down, G major, down, down. this song is to play along with the recording instead of starting on an A minor or an A, a minor or an, or an A sus 2 Adele is actually starting on a C minor chord so to do that what you want to do is take a capo to play along with the recording and go across the entire third fret and now when you play your A minor it's really a C minor your F major is really an A flat major and the D minor or, or yeah, D minor is really a F minor, 
and the D major is really an F major. And when we get to it, that then the E7 sus is really a G7 sus, and the E7 is really a G7. And when we get to it, our G major that we're playing is really a B flat major. But just to try that, just so we could play along with the recording, we got our A minor, our A sus two that kind of kicks it off as a trumpet intro. And then from there, we're going to be going to our our intro. We got the A minor down F on the We'll be going into our chorus, and our chorus we're, we're, we're going to be doing the whole strum pattern through a lot of the chords. We got A minor down. So we're kind of half in everything, we're half in both of our measures. We've got A minor down, down, up on the up. I'm sorry, the A sus two. And it's kind of a big, big down. Like through that part, we kind of have, have four really big downs. But then there's a lick that kind of comes in around that. It's kind of a callback to, to the old James Bond movies where, where you go open on the A, and then we're going to go third fret on the A, and then open G, and then we'll go to fourth fret on the D. So we got open A, third fret on the A, open G, fourth fret on the D. So you may want to try and put those together, like you could do the A, A sus 2, and then go right to the third fret, and then open G, and then fourth fret on the D. Anyway, 
I think that's kind of a cool callback, like from the tune. And then from there, we're going to be going to the bridge part. So we got our, our whole strum pattern on each of these chords, where we got the D minor. Da, 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 da. So you may want to try just doing down, down, up, and then going to E7 for the down, down. So that's something you could substitute in too, is just doing the down, down, up, down, down, instead of having the down, down, up, up, down, up. But anyway, just to try that on a course again, we got A minor, down. We got kind of A minor down, up, down, 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 up, down. There's a big D major with just a down. And then the E7 with a down. And then there's that trumpet part from the very, very beginning. So I just like doing the A sus2 at the very end. So that's the basics of how you could play Skyfall by Adele. So good luck! One other thing you may want to try adding to the song Skyfall is instead of working off an eighth note strum pattern, which is what we're doing when we're tapping our foot and doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, what we're doing is we're using an eighth note pattern. What an eighth note is is where you're taking the foot tap and dividing it into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And another one of my favorite things to do with a 4-4 four, four like this is instead of using an eighth note strum pattern, I'll use a sixteenth note strum pattern. And what a sixteenth note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So for instance, if you took your A minor, what I mean by that is to kind of do a down and count four. One, two, And that's what you're doing on beat one. And on beat two, we're going to be doing a down on one and a down on three and an up on four. So then we got kind of one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, 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 down. But then on beat three, we're going to be doing an up, down, and the up is kind of on two and the down's on three. So you got kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the last beat, we're going to be doing down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you put all that together, then you got long, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 of those places where we're halving things is I would do the down and then the down, down, up and then switch to the next chord and do the up, down, down, up, down, down. So that, that A minor and F could be a good thing to try that on the A minor. pre-chorus part that comes back where you got the A minor down down up F up down 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 up down D down 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 up D minor down 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 D minor down 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 up F up down 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 D minor down 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 up D minor down 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 D minor down 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 up 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 D minor down down down
down, down, up, up, down, up. And then just everywhere else, you would just try that strum pattern all the way through. Um, so for instance, on, on our chorus part, then you have A minor, down, down, up. So you'd have your D minor down, down, of how you could play Skyfall by Adele. So good luck.